Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. We're going to bring you some more out of the ball park, out of the park baseball, excuse me, 25. Our What If 1980 World Series A's versus Phillies game three. We've had two magnificent games early er, in this series. If you don't want to know what happened, spoiler alert. Tune out. Go back. Watch Game 1 and 2, especially Game 1, which was absolutely marvelous. Game 2 wasn't that bad either. All right, now the spoiler alert. You've been warned if you haven't seen Games 1 and 2. The A's are up 2-0. Game 1, Mike Norris throws a no-hitter. Game 2, the A's come back to defeat the Phillies, so they sweep the Phillies in Philly. Now we go to the Oakland Coliseum in California. Billy Martin and Billy Ball have a chance to sweep the Philadelphia Phillies out of the World Series. Let's get to the first pitch. Again, I will be playing as the Oakland A's and Billy Ball, <coughs> excuse me, the Philadelphia Phillies, the OOTP 25 engine joining us here in Oakland midlife crisis and David Selinski hope all is well to both of you fine gents midlife crises is or not too magnificent well not for midlife crisis he's a Phillies fan so I can see that and David Selinski says good evening Al and the chat let me take a sip of water and we'll get to the Baseball game. <clears throat> Red Sox Mariners were tied last I checked at one in real life. So on the mound for Philadelphia, trying to get their first win here in Oakland. Dick Ruthven, Ruth then, excuse me, in 1980, 17 and 10, 3.55 ERA. For Oakland. Matt Keel will try to give Billy Ball and the Oakland A's a 3-0 lead. Matt Keel, 16 and 13, 292 ERA. Let's go to manage. And let's check out our lineup. I already see I'm going to make a few changes here. <clears throat> I'm going to move Tony Armas, who's been absolutely outstanding, to the three spot. Oh, I got it. Hold on a second. Hold on. Let's go back. I have to change this to this. There we go. And again, the AI has the Phillies. Now we can do some lineup changes. All right, so Armis will move to the three spot. Reverend, the first baseman, the cleanup hitter. Wayne Gross will bat fifth. Uh, Newman, I think. Mitchell Page has not hit too well, though. But he is a lefty. I think we're going to go with Mitchell Page. <clears throat> yeah, let's check out what Mitchell Page is doing. Well, we can see that in a moment, I guess. Uh, yeah, he's only uh, one. One for four is Mitchell Page. So Mitchell Page is 1 for 4. Newman is 0 for 5. Actually, I'm sorry, 2 for 5. We'll stick with Newman. We'll stick with Newman then. <coughs> Got some good power. I think we're going to bat Newman 5th. Gross 6th. Essien 7th. Second baseman McKay. Eighth switch hitter, and then Mario Guerrero. So that's our lineup. That's what we're going to go with. Uh, yes, and we still have our other catcher, Mike Heath. We, we're carrying three catchers in the World Series. Sports Time Machine has joined us. Check out that wonderful channel. channel. So we have Sports Time Machine, Midlife Crisis, um, Brian Hoxie, David Zelensky. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go back here 
to preview. All right, for the Philadelphia Phillies, leading off is Lonnie Smith. Smith will be playing left field. Pete Rose bats second at first base. Batting third, playing third, Michael Jack Schmidt. The cleanup hitter, the DH, Greg Lazinski, the bull. Batting fifth in right field, Shake Bake McBride. Batting sixth in center field, Gary Maddox. Manny Trio will play second, bat seventh, Larry Boa. Will play short, bat eighth. Batting ninth, doing the catching, Bobby Boone. On the mound, as we stated, right-handed hurler, 29-year-old Dick Ruthven. 17 game winner in 1980 trying to give the Phillies a win here they're down 2-0 now for the Oakland A's in left field leading off Ricky Henderson batting second in center field Dwayne Murphy Tony Armas who's been outstanding the first two games in the field and at bat will bat third play right field playing first Dave Revering he's the cleanup hitter the DH Jeff Newman bats fifth. Third baseman Wayne Gross is in the sixth spot. Doing the catching, batting seventh, Jim Essien. The second baseman, Dave McKay, will bat eighth. He's the switch hitter. Batting ninth. The shortstop, Mario Guerrero. Matt Keel, the right-handed hurler, on the mound, 25 years old, trying to give the A's a 3-0 lead. The Cubs, the Bears. This is my favorite PC game. For my favorite YouTube channel, thanks for the late night entertainment, Al. Thank you to the Great White Shark, the Cubs, the Bears. We also have Bernard Strom Sports Replays. Check out that wonderful channel. And we might do a little more after this. Might do a little card and dice. So I got to finish up the uh, golf tournament soon. I got to get that on the channel. <clears throat> Allergies have been bothering me. All right, um, Oakland Coliseum. 61 degrees, wind blowing in from right, 12 miles per hour. Again, the A's lead the series 2-0. No, the Phillies do not lead the series 2-0. What are they on, crack? That's wrong. That's wrong. Let's go start the game. and let, what, what, Will they cheat all of a sudden? Hold on a second here. We know we're up 2-0. <laughs> start the game. That's a typo. Beautiful Oakland uh, Coliseum. All right, so on the mound, Matt Keogh. Behind the plate, Jim Essien. Essien defensively is a six-range, six-arm, very good defensive catcher. Dave Reverend at first, he's a seven. McKay at second is a seven. Very solid on the right side when it comes to defensive range. Mario Guerrero at short. Wayne Gross at third. They're both fives. They're average with their range. The outfield absolutely outstanding for the A's. Probably the best outfield in baseball at the time. Ricky Henderson in left. Ten range. Seven arm. Dwayne Murphy in center. Seven range. Eight arm. Tony Armas in right. Nine range. Nine arm. The Phillies will send up Smith, Rose, and Schmidt to face Matt Keogh. Again, Oakland has a 2-0 lead. Disregard the PC typo, trying to cheat. Lonnie Smith, 2 for 7, a homer and a ribby, batting 286 in the World Series. Smith has an average eye. Uh, Keogh, his stuff, his quality of pitch is below average, well below average. Movements above average, control is average, so pitch around is going to be difficult here. We're going to pitch to Lonnie Smith. Matt Keogh rocks and deals to Smith as the camera pans around the ballpark here in Oakland. Keogh has the sign from Essien. Pitch homeward bound to Lonnie Smith. Smith swings, grounds it to third. Gross will throw to Reverend, one down. And we remembered to put the high socks in for the uniforms. Christopher Slovak has joined us. Hope all is well. Christopher says, listening for my hotel room in Bangkok. Love this series. Go A's. Christopher had some really cool photos up on Facebook. He went to, uh, I think it was Thai kickboxing. One out for Pete Rose. Rose is 0 for 7. The pitch to Charlie Hustle. Switch hitter batting lefty. Full count. 
Ball four, so Rose walks. He's at first. Reverend will hold him on. Michael Jack Schmidt steps to play 0 for 4 with a ribby. A's hope to turn two in the infield. Let's go to double play depth. Guerrero and McKay cheat closer to the second base bag. Keogh throws over to first. Rose gets back. Dives back. Now the pitch to Michael Jack Schmidt. Full count. Grounder through the hole. The left side. First and second. And that ball had eyes between Guerrero and Gross. One out, two on for the Bull. Greg Lazinski, one for seven. No ribbies, no homers. Keogh would like to keep it that way. Essien sets the target. The pitch to Lazinski, 0-1. Oh, Lazinski is hit in the back. Fastball got away from Keo. Bases are juiced. Billy Martin quite tense in the dugout now. Essien goes out to have a quick word with Keo. Back behind the plate. Shake Bake McBride steps to the left-hander's batter's box. He's 0 for 6. Philly looking to jump out quickly on Oakland. The A's will give up the run for the second out. The good news is... McBride has a below average eye, but we're we're playing with fire here. We're gonna go pitch around. 1-0. There's the grounder. McKay goes to the plate. Not in time. So they get the force at home. Essien goes to Reverend. McBride beats it out. But there are two outs now, and it's still scoreless here in the top of the first. Schmidt at third, Lazinski at second, McBride at first. Gary Maddox, bless the Union Gap band. Center fielder steps to the right-hander's batter's box. Maddox one for seven. He's looking for his first run knocked in. Maddox has a below average eye. Keogh will look to try to extend the zone. The pitch around, 3-0, we just walked a run in. one nothing Philadelphia. That's a, It's dangerous with Keogh only having a five control. That will bring up Manny Trio. Keo rocks and deals. Grounder to third. The force at second. As McKay steps on the bag, side is retired, but the walk with bases juice give the Phillies a 1-0 lead. Could have been a lot worse. We go to the bottom of the first here in Oakland. The A's lead the series, the What If World Series of 1980, 2-0. For Oakland, Henderson, Murphy, and Armis. Dick Ruthven on the mound. He's a righty. Behind the plate, Bob Boone. Very good defensive catcher. You can see six range, uh, seven, uh, seven blocking ability, six and six for framing and arm. Rose is a five at first. Trio is a seven at second. Bo is a six at short. Michael Jack Schmidt is a nine range at third. In the outfield, they have a very good outfield also. Lonnie Smith in left, 7 range, 9 arm. Gary Maddox in center, 9 range, 7 arm. Shake Bake McBride, 8 range, 6 arm in right. Yes, brawls, I do believe, are still in the game. You can see bench clearing brawls in OOTP. I, I haven't seen one yet, but I did used to... Uh, that was kind of fun when you're, you're playing and you just keep beaming a guy to see how long before a fight breaks out. Ricky Henderson is 2 for 7, batting 286. No ribbies, no homers. Ricky loves Ricky. Ruthven to Ricky. Full count to Henderson. Henderson looking to get on. Excellent base stealer. Ball 4 down and away. Ricky Henderson to first. Tying run at first is the speedy Ricky Henderson. Rose to hold on Henderson. Dwayne Murphy steps to plate. He's an excellent sacrifice bunter. Henderson's going to go. There goes Ricky. The throw down. Not in time. Henderson gets the hand in there. Head first slide. That was a ball. 1-0 count. Murphy to take again. 1-1 count. Murphy to drop the bunt down on the 1-1. Misses the bunt. 1-2. Murphy to swing the stick. He's in the hole. Murphy, fly ball, gap shot. It's carrying. It's off the wall. He just missed a homer by a foot. 
Murphy goes sliding into second with a double, and just like that, the A's tie it up at one. SGJ Jamies is walking. Henderson, not good. <clears throat> A's can take the lead. Tony Armas has been outstanding. He's batting 650, uh, 625. Two homers, six ribbies, eight at-bats with five hits. Armas with the green light. 0-1. Armas swings, base hit to right. Murphy to round third to try to score ball is shallow. Murphy is an average runner. Shake, bake, McBride has a normal arm. We're going to put the brakes on it. We don't want to run into an out. So Armas' hot bat continues here in game three in Oakland to the joy of Oakland Athletic fans and Billy Martin. Runners on the corners, no outs for Dave Reverend. Reverend batting 222. He does have a ribby. Armis at first, Murphy at third. Ruthven to Reverend, 0-1. Grounder to first. Rose goes to the bag. The run scores. Reverend picks up another ribby. Armist is second with one out. It is now 2-1 Oakland. That was a very short-lived lead for the Philadelphia Phillies. Stepping to the right-hander's batter's box, the designated hitter for the Oakland A's, Jeff Newman. Newman is 2 for 5, batting 400. Armist at second. Ruthven rocks and deals. 2-2 two -two count. Grounder to short. Boa's only play is to first. Advancing to third is Armis. There are two down. Armis 90 feet away from the third Oakland A's run. Wayne Gross steps to the plate. He's batting 375. He's three for eight with a ribby. The pitch to Gross. Left-handed batting third baseman. 2-1 count. Gross grounds it to second. Trio to Rose. Side retired, but Oakland strikes for three. For two, excuse me. They lead 2-1. to one. Top of the second. Brian Hoxie says, I'll be really surprised if Ruthven makes it past the third inning. For the Phillies, down one. It'll be Boa Boone, top of the order. Lonnie Smith to face Matt Keogh. Keogh has struggled with control. Larry Boa, one for seven. We're going to go pitch around to Boa. 1-0. He's going to, can we get him to swing out of the zone? He does, and he bloops it. To center. Good piece of hitting by Boa. Tying run at first. Boa definitely a threat to steal. Reverend holding him on. Bob Boone steps to the plate. We throw over McKay to Reverend. Boa gets back. Let's go to double play depth up the middle. Keo. He's ready. Essien sets the target. The pitch to Bob Boone. 0 for 6 in the series. 2-1 count. Boone puts the bunt down. McKay throws it away. Uh, McKeo, excuse me, throws it away. He stumbled off the mound. Bad throw. It was knocked down by Reverend, but now no outs. Two on. Lonnie Smith steps to the plate. Lonnie Smith 0 for 1 today. There's some milling in the Oakland A's bullpen, which is not bueno. The pitch to Lonnie Smith, 1-0. Smith, fly ball. That's a gap shot to right center. It's going to be off the wall, chased down by Dwayne Murphy. Smith going for three. The th relay throw, not in time. Head first slide by Lonnie Smith, and just like that, the Phillies retake the lead 3-2 as Boa and Boone score. Pete Rose steps to the plate. Infield moves in. The pitch to Rose. He's in the hole. One, two. Grounder to second. We got him at the plate. Yes! Did we get him? Yes! So contact play on. Lonnie Smith is thrown out as Essien applies the tag. It was McKay. Infield was in. One out, Rose at first. Infield back to normal. Still a 3-2 lead for the Phillies. Michael Jack Schmidt is one for one today. 
The pitch to Schmidt. He's in the hole one, two. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Nasty curve or a change up. Definitely just dip. Two outs. Rose at first. We're going to have Reverend play behind Rose. The bull, Greg Lazinski, steps up plate. He was hit by a pitch in his first at bat. Keo has the sign. The pitch to Lazinski. 0 1 to Greg Lazinski. Base hit to right. Armis fires to third. Not in time. Lazinski moves up. Tony Armis probably should have hit the cutoff man there. So second and third, two outs. Once again, Matt Keo in a pickle. Shake, bake, McBride coming to the plate. We're going to go pitch around to McBride. 0 2 count, swing and a miss, hopefully coming up. Yes! Got him to chase on the 0-2, but McKay gives up. Keo, excuse me, gives up two. We go to the bottom of the second. 3-2 Phillies. Billy Martin going over to have a word with his starting pitcher. None too happy with Matt Keo. So Dick Ruthven once again has a one-run lead. Ruthven will face the bottom third of this Oakland order. Essien McKay Guerrero. Midlife crisis is Essien, former Phillies farmhand. Essien batting 500, 2 for 4. Ruthven to Jimmy Essien. Essien to swing at the first offering. Grounds it to Trio at second. Out number 1. That will bring up Dave McKay. First at bat here in game three. He's one for five in the series. And we're going to try for a bunt hit here. The pitch. Down and away. Pulls the bat back. Schmidt moves in a little bit at third. McKay chokes up on that bat. 2-0 count. Green light. And that's a base hit. That was a base hit. Pass to drawn in. Mike Schmidt to left. Tying run at first with one out, Dave McKay. So McKay at first, below average speed, but a above average base dealer. But he's got to read the pitch well. Mario Guerrero steps to the plate. Guerrero's got six contact. We're playing Billy Ball here, hit and run. Fly ball, shallow left. Lonnie Smith makes the catch. They're going to double up McKay. No, McKay just gets back. Let's watch that web gem by Lonnie Smith in left. Robin Guerrero of a hit on the hit and run. What a play by Lonnie Smith. The Phillies flashing the leather. Ken Castro says shenanigans going on here. If the Phillies are down in this series, well, they're down 2-0, my friend. You saw the no-hitter, I do believe. Midlife crisis says traded for Dick Allen after Allen said he'd retired before he'd play one game in Atlanta. Agreed to return to Philly to finish his career. Very interesting. Fahrenheit, uh, I'm sorry, Finner. I was going to say Fahrenheit 457, the book, or whatever the hell that book was. Finner 27 says, Evening Al, online baseball tonight. I see. Yes, yes, baseball tonight. We had a little football, Apple football in the afternoon. Second quarter of our all-time Colts and Giants. It was a good second quarter, fun second quarter. Third quarter will be coming up in the near future. Two outs. McKay at first. Ricky Henderson at the plate. He walked his first time up. The pitch to everyone loves Ricky, except Ricky loves him himself even more. Slow grounder to second. Henderson's going to beat this out. No. Trio with a hard throw to Rose, and they just nip Ricky. We go to the top of the third. 3-2 Phillies. Do up for Philadelphia, Maddox, Trio, Boa. To face a very rocky Matt Keo. We're going to try to get Maddox to extend the zone with a pitch around. 2-2 two -two count. Maddox will swing the stick. Fly ball, shallow center. Murphy coming in, one down. Keo needs to put up a goose egg here. That brings up Manny Trio. Go pitch around to Trio, 0-1. Oh, Trio's going to swing out of the zone. Fly ball, center field to his left goes Murphy, two down. I guess that pep talk by Billy Martin in the dugout to Matt Keough has worked so far.
That brings up the switch hitter Larry Boa. The shortstop is one for one. Digs in the left-hander's batter's box. Again, not the best eye. Pitch around, 2-1 count. Boa grounds at the third, grows up with it, throws to Reverend, side is retired. 1-2-3 go the Phillies. Keo finally puts up the goose egg. We go to the bottom of the third, 3-2 Philadelphia. Oakland leads the series 2-0. For the A's, it will be Murphy, Armis, Reverend. If anyone gets on the DH, Newman. Dwayne Murphy is one for one with a ribby. Ruthven has the sign from Boone. The pitch to Murph. 2-2 two -two count to Murphy. Murphy. Fly. He dumps it into right. Murphy's two for two. Tying run at first. Tony Armis at the plate. Armis one for one today. Batting 667. The pitch to TA. 2-2 two -two count to Armis. Armis base hit up the middle. Murphy hits second. Uh, average runner. Maddox has a great arm. We'll put the brakes on Murphy. Tony Armas definitely making a bid for MVP here. RJL Network. How you doing, my friend? Check out that wonderful channel and subscribe. As RJL says, I think I will take in a little baseball with Al Red Sox fan. I greatly appreciate your time, my friend. And everyone else's time. No outs, two on. Dave Reverend steps to the plate. Reverend is 0 for 1. Does have a ribby, though, in this game. He awaits the Ruth Finn offering. Pitch homeward bound. 1-1 one, one count to Dave Reverend. Base hit the center. Murphy to third. And we're going to hold him. As Maddox comes up firing. Bases juiced, no outs for Jeff Newman. Newman's 0 for 1 today. Infield in for the Phillies. They're going to try to cut off the run at the plate. The pitch to Newman. Green light on the 1 0 to Jeff Newman. Newman grounded a third. Schmidt goes home. The throw to first. Did they get him? Safe. Schmidt to Boone cuts down the tying run. It's still 3-2 Philadelphia. Philadelphia keeps the infield in. Wayne Gross will now try to give the A's a tie or lead. Armis at third. Reverend at second. Jeff Newman at first. Wayne Gross is 0 for 1. The pitch to Gross. It's a 1-1 count. Gross. Base hit to right. Pass rolls. That could get two runs in. It's tied at three. Dave Reverend should he round third. Ball is very shallow. Reverend is a normal runner. Shit, we're sending him. We're sending him. Here's the throw to the plate. Reverend digging hard. And he is safe. The Oakland A's take the lead 4-3. to three. A clutch hit by Wayne Gross. Past Pete Rose. Rose was drawn in. The infield was in. It's now 4-3 to three, Oakland. Let's watch the replay. The super stat replay. Just past Rose. Here's Shake Bake McBride. The throw to the plate. A bit lobby. And you can see sliding in safely is Reverend. That is Billy Ball at its best. It's now 4-3, second and third infield. Still in for the Phillies. How long will Dick Ruthven go? Jim Essien steps to the plate. The pitch to Jimmy Essien. 2-2 two -two count to Essien. Base hit up the middle. One run scores. Gross. Average runner. Maddox with a great arm. They'll put the brakes on. It's now 5-3 Oakland. Too much joy and jocularity here at the Coliseum. Infield in again. Dave McKay steps to the plate. He's got the green light. 1-1 one, one count to McKay. Trying to extend this A's lead. Chopper to second. Only play. No, it's an infield hit. As Trio bluffs the throw home. Quickly looked at second to see what Essien was doing. It's now 6-3. Oakland has played in four 
and that is it. That is it. For Ruthven, Ron Reed comes in the game. So, our Nostradamus in the chat, Brian Hoxie, said earlier, I'll be surprised if Ruthven makes it past the third inning. He does not. The Nostradamus Award goes to Brian Hoxie. Jeff Hunter, how you doing? Hope all is well. Dave Gardner's here. Check out that wonderful channel. Good to see Uncle Dave. So Ron Reed in the game in 1980. Five, uh, seven and five with nine saves with a 4.04 ERA. Reed has pitched two-thirds of an inning. Actually, Reed might have came in already. I missed that. So Reed has given up a hit already. Wow, still only one out, 6-3 Oakland. Mario Guerrero at the plate. Here's the pitch to Guerrero. 2-1 count to Guerrero. Fly ball, shallow left. Boa goes out, he gets it. Calling off Lonnie Smith, two outs as both A's runners retreat back to their bags. Essien at second, McKay at first. As Brian Hoxie says regarding Ruthven, saw him too many games when he was with the Cubs. Yuck. Top of the order, Ricky Henderson. Ricky loves Ricky. 1-2 count to Henderson from Reed. Grounder to short. Boa goes a short way to Trio for the force at second. But Oakland plates four. We go to the top of the fourth. The A's have a commanding 6-3 lead. Matt Keogh on the bump. Can he hold that three-run lead? For the Phillies, it will be Boone, Smith, and Rose. Keogh to Bob Boone. 0 for 6 in the series. Fly ball, shallow center. Murphy coming in, one out. So Keo settled in after a shaky first and second inning. Top of the order, Lonnie Smith is 1 for 2 with two ribbies. The pitch to Smith. He's going to swing at the first offering. Fly ball to center. No, it's a pop-up. Well, I thought that was a fly ball. Second baseman McKay makes the catch. Is that water I'm drinking or alcohol? Let me see. Well, that was a Phil Rizzuto moment. Two outs, base is empty for Pete Rose. Rose 0 for 8 in the series. The pitch to Charlie Hustle. 0-1 count to Rose, swinging from the left-hander's batter's box. That's a fly ball deep to center field. Murphy going back, and he makes the leaping running catch. Side is retired. Pete Rose is still hitless. What another fine play by the Oakland outfield in this series. Let's watch that in Superstat replay. Ball hit off the bat of Rose. This looks like extra bases. Going back to his right is Murphy. And there it is. There's that leap right at the end, robbing Rose of extra bases. We go to the bottom of the fourth, 6-3 Oakland. Due up for the A's. Murphy, Armis, Reverend to face Ron Reed, who's in relief of a highly ineffective Ruthven. Dick Ruthven pitched two and a third innings, eight hits, six runs, all earned, walk one, struck out none. Reed has pitched two thirds of an inning, giving up a hit. Reed to Dwayne Murphy. He's in the hole, one, two. Murphy chops it slowly towards the mound. High throw, safe. Billy Martin clapping like a maniac in the dugout. So Murphy at first, no outs. Tony Armis at the plate. Armis two for two today. The pitch to T.A., full count. Armis sends that ball left center. Lonnie Smith calls for it, makes the catch. Murphy retreats to first. One out, one on for Dave Reverend. We're going to play hit and run. Reverend, that's an infield hit possibly. Yes! Holy cow. Another weird chopper. Two infield hits, one out, two on for Jeff Newman. We're playing unorthodox, hit and run. It's Billy Ball, baby. Newman, grounder to short. The only play will be to first. Two outs, second and third now. A's will need something from Wayne Gross. He's knocked in two today. He's one for two. Gross awaits the Re Ron Reed offering. Here's the pitch, homeward bound. They're going to walk Wayne Gross. Wow. Legend Sports Universe has joined us. Check out that wonderful channel. 
Legend Sports University. He says, good evening, Al. Hope all is well with you, my friend, and your family. So bases are juiced. 6-3 lead for the A's. They scored four in the bottom of the third to take the lead. They can break this game open. The catcher, Jim Essien, steps to the plate. The pitch to Essien. 3-1 count. Ball four. Essien gets the ribby due to the free pass. It's now 7-3 Oakland. Billy Martin is feeling it in the dugout. The pitch to McKay, 2-1. McKay grounds it to Trio. He'll flip. I'm sorry, grounds it to Boa. He'll flip to Trio. They get the force, but Oakland picks up another run. We go to the top of the fifth, 7-3 Oakland. So Matt Keogh, who struggled in the first two innings, has settled in with goose eggs in the third and fourth. We're in the top of the fifth. Keo will face Michael Jack Schmidt, the Bull Greg Lazinski, and Shake Bake McBride. Here's the pitch to Schmidt, who's one for two. 3 0 count to Schmidt. Ball four down and in. And that will drive Billy Martin nuts. With a four run lead, he does not want to see free passes. Greg Lazinski steps to the plate. Keo struggling at the moment. The pitch to the Bull. 1 2. Swing and a miss! He went too far on the breaking pitch. One out, one on for Shake Bake McBride. He's 0 for 2. The pitch to Bake. He's in the hole, 1 2. That's a shot to right. Armis gets there. Fires to third, but not in time. Schmidt sl slides in safely. One out. Two on, runners on the corner. Smith, uh, McBride at first, Schmidt at third. Gary Maddox at the plate. Maddox is 0 for 1 with a ribby. If Maddox can go yard, the Phillies pulled it within one. Keo is struggling here. Steve McCaddy will get up in the bullpen for Oakland. And Jeff Jones. Uh, maybe we go, let's see. Let's go back here. What do we got here? We got all righties and a switch hitter. How the hell did Tim Conroy make the team with the AI? We won't be using him. <laughs> uh, let me get Jeff Jones up too. So we have two righties up. We'll make a decision. All right. Maddox at the plate. We're going to go double play depth up the middle with Guerrero and McKay. Keo looks in. He's ready. Nods his head. The pitch homeward bound to Gary Maddox. Maddox swings at the first. Oh, the ball gets away from Essien. Runner Schmidt will score from third. It's now 7-4. Advancing to second is Shake Bake McBride. Infield goes back to normal. Oh, wow. And Essien's going to go out to have a word with Keo. Keo says he's okay. McCaddy and Jones continue to warm. Pitch homeward bound to Maddox once again. 2-0 count. Will Maddox have the green light? He does. Fly ball to right. Coming in is Armas. He makes the catch. Throws it into the infield. Bluffing but not going at second base is Shake Bake McBride. So there's two outs. 7-4 game. Manny Trio steps to the plate. McCaddy and Jones continue to warm in the Oakland Athletics bullpen. Keo is ready. He nods his head. He rocks and deals to Trio. 0 1 count to Manny. Manny, grounder to second. Backhanded by McKay. Low throw. Scooped out of the dirt by Reverend. The Phillies pick up one. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Three run lead for the Oakland A's here in game three. They have a 2 0 lead in this World Series. It's 7 4 Oakland. McCaddy and Jones are ready. We will sit them down. Ron Reed back on the bump in relief of a 
to be kind, a highly ineffective Dick Ruthven. Reed to face Guerrero, then the top of this A's order, Henderson and Murphy. The pitch to Mario Guerrero, he's 0 for 2 today, 3 for 10 in the series. 3-1 count, hitters count to Guerrero. Guerrero grounds hard to short, diving play by Boa, but he comes up throwing low. Rose could not corral the throw. That will be an error on Larry Boa. So Guerrero reaches top of the order. Ricky Henderson. Ricky loves Ricky. Here's the pitch to Ricky Henderson. 3-1. Ball four down and away. Reed struggling. Guerrero to second. Henderson at first. Dwayne Murphy at the plate. Murph will take here. We don't want to give him an out yet. There's a ball. Reed is really struggling. Murph to take again. 1-1 one, one count. Murph to put the sack down. Pulls it back. 2-1 count. He's going to swing the stick now. Flare down the left field line. Foul. That started to carry. It's a 2-2 count now. We're going to play unorthodox hit and run. Another shot down the left field line. Foul. Runners go back to their bags. No outs, two on. 2-2 two, two count. Reed on the mound. Boone behind the plate. Dwayne Murphy in the left-hander's batter's box. The pitch to the Oakland left fielder. Center fielder, excuse me. It's going to be a pop foul and a quick play by Pete Rose. What a play by Rose. And the ball popped up in foul territory, sinking quickly, but Rose gets there. That's why they call him Charlie Hustle. One out, two on. The pitch to Tony Armis. Armis, two for three. Armis will swing at the first offering. That ball is gone. Armis hits a crush shot. A three-run homer. Can you say MVP Tony Armis? Boom goes the ball. Armis touches them all. To the moon, Alice. To the moon. Tony Armis with his third home run in as many World Series games. It is now 10-4. The Phillies are being mud-stomped here at the Coliseum. Boom goes the ball, and Tony Armas touches them all. To the moon, Alice. To the moon. And we will see a Superstat replay of that. Three World Series games, three home runs for T.A. Tony Armas. He takes that outside pitch to right and bye bye. So it's 10 to 4. That spells the end of Mr. Reed. Dickie Knowles comes in the game. One win, four losses, six saves, 3.89 ERA. The pitch to Reverend. 2 2 count to Reverend. Knowles pours it in. Grounder, backhanded by Trio at second. Low throw scooped out of the dirt for out number two. Two outs, base is empty. Jeff Newman 0 for 3 today. Knowles to Newman. 1 0 to Jeffy. Lined out to second. Side retired, but Tony Armas with a three run blast to right makes it a 10 4 game. Matt Keo will stay on the bump with a six run lead. He'll deal quickly to Larry Boa. Boa is 1 for 2. 1 0 to Boa. Boa grounds hard to second. One down. McKay to Reverend. That brings up Bobby Boone, the catcher. He's 0 for 1 today, 0 for 7 in the series. McKay works quickly. Martin wants him to work quickly. And that's just what he's doing. Boa grounds the second. Rinse and repeat. Deja vu all over again. McKay to Reverend. Two down. Top of the order, Lonnie Smith. Martin screaming at McKay, throw the damn baseball. And that's just what McKay will do. Grounder to short. Guerrero's up with it. Throws a strike to first. Side is retired. Billy Martin says, that's what the F you're supposed to do, son. So Martin, using his motivational tactics with Matt Keogh, and they seem to have worked when he thought Keogh got off his game in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the six, a six-run six run lead here for the A's in Oakland. As the Phillies have four, the Oakland Athletics ten. 
Dickie Knowles, third Philadelphia pitcher. He'll face Gross, Essien, and McKay. Wayne Gross, one for two with two ribbies. He's knocked in three for the series with four hits and ten at-bats. The pitch to Wayne Gross, former New York Met Metropolitan, 1-1 one, one count to Wayne Gross. Gross sporting the yellow cleats, flies shallow to right. Making the catch was Shake Bake McBride, so one down. Jim Essien's one for two with two ribbies. The pitch to the Oakland A's catcher. He's in the hole one-two from the right-hander's batter's box. Grounder to short. Boa up with it. Throws to Rose. Two away. Two outs. Base is empty for the second baseman. Dave McKay. Let's see what McKay can do here. Asks for time. Now steps back in the left-hander's batter's box. Dickie Knowles not amused with that. Neither is Bob Boone. Let's see if they go high and tight. 1-1 one, one count. They go down and away. It's pulled to second. McKay is out. Side is retired. We go to the top of the seventh. Oakland 10, Philadelphia 4. The A's lead the World Series two games to none. It's looking good for three games to none. Matt Keel back on the mound. Boy, did Billy Martin give him an earful in the dugout, telling him he better mother effing pitch and pitch well. You're out there to win. Bleep, bleep. All right, so Keo to face Rose, Schmidt, and Lazinski. Here's the pitch to Pete Rose, who's 0 for 9 in the series. 3-0 count. Ball four down and in, and Billy Martin, the explicitives coming out of his mouth are incredible. Those explicitives would make a sailor blush. Getting up in the bullpen for the Oakland A's. He's got horrible control, though. Jeff Jones, once again, and Steve McCaddy. So Jones and McCaddy are up in the bullpen. They were warming earlier. Here comes Billy Martin and Essien to the mound. Keo telling Martin, I'm good, I'm good. Martin said, then effing pitch like you're good. Martin is not amused with Matt Keo right now. He's got a 10 runs, is plated for the A's, and a six-run lead. As Martin heads back to the dugout, he turns one more time to the mound and says, I don't want to see any more effing walks, you piece of poo. The pitch to Michael Jack Schmidt, oh my lord. Ball four, and Billy Martin is going insane in the dugout. Martin is going insane. Lozinski at the plate. Martin is fuming. Keo asks for a new baseball. No outs, two on the pitch to the bull. Lozinski base hit to center. Murphy to his left. Throwing to the plate. They're not going to get the runner. Advancing on a, a not wise throw to the plate. To second and third. Schmidt to third. Lazinski to second. It's now a five-run game. And that's going to be it for Matt Keogh, I think. Shake Bake McBride coming to the plate. It's now 10-5 in the top of the seventh. Martin has his bullpen coach. Has his pitching coach on the line to the bullpen and he says they're not ready yet martin is fuming key out a shake bake mcbride one one count popped up on the infield gross calls everyone off one out jones and mccaddy are ready and that's going to be it for matt keo it's not going to be a pleasant walk in conversation in that Oakland A's dugout, Billy Martin at the top step, glaring at Keo, calling him, well, words I cannot say on the radio or TV. We're going to go with, I think we're going to go with McCaddy. I think we're going to go with Steve McCaddy. Uh, 
that boy. Again, his quality of pitch is below average, well below, but his movement and control, movement's above average, control is average. Jones, he's got nastier stuff. But poor control. We're going to go with Jones. Here comes Jeff Jones. The caddy to sit. One out. Schmidt at third. Lazinski at second. Gary Maddox. Steps back in the right-hander's batter's box as Jones is done with his warm-up tosses. Here's the pitch to Maddox. Grounder to first. Reverend takes it to the bag. Two outs. Run scores from third. It's now 10-6. Advancing to third is Lazinski. Dell Unser to pinch hit. So Unser is pinch hitting for Trio, I do believe. Yes, he's pinch hitting for Manny Trio. This game is not over yet. Dell Unser, in 1980, 96 games, 110 at bats, batted 264, no homers, 10 ribbies. Jones to Unser, 1 0. Unser swings, fly ball to left field and deep. That gaps Henderson and Murphy. That's extra bases, a stand-up double for the pinch hitter, Del Unser. It is now 10-7. Larry Boa, the switch hitter, steps to the left-hander's batter's box. Billy Martin is going insane. Here's the pitch to Boa. 3-0, ball four, down and in. The explicitives that Martin was using on Keo are now being hurled at the new man on the mound, Jeff Jones. Number nine batter. The catcher, Bob Boone, steps to the plate. If Boone goes yard, he will tie the game. Bob Lacey quickly gets up in the pen. And... McCaddy again. McCaddy's ready to go. They're going to McCaddy. Martin's seen enough of Jones. So here comes Steve McCaddy. 14 and 4, 386 ERA. A starter now in the bullpen for the World Series. Two outs, two on. The A's lead cut to three. Unser, the pinch hitter who doubled at second. Boa at first after Jones walked him, spelling doom for Jones. And boy, did he get a tongue lashing by Billy Martin. I don't know if it was worse than Matt Keogh, but it was right there with it. Bob Boone at the plate. McCaddy to Boone. 1-0. Boone will swing the stick. Two outs, two on. Grounder slowly to second. McKay has it. Throws low to first. Scooped out of the dirt by Reverend. The A's give up three, but they still lead by three. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Oakland, 10. Philadelphia trails by a field goal. Seven. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I ever go back for its root, root, root for the A's. If they lose, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Dickie Knowles back up on the bump. He is the third Philadelphia Phillies pitcher. Knowles will face Guerrero, then the top of the Oakland A's order, Henderson and Murphy. Guerrero is 0 for 3. The pitch to Mario. 1-1 one, one count. Will he be super? Fly ball deep. To center, carrying to the left. It's going to get to the wall. Mario Guerrero digging hard for three. A leadoff triple 
for the A shortstop, Mario Guerrero. He goes sliding in safely. Billy Martin says, that's how you do it. Dickie Knowles will now face Ricky Henderson. The pitch to Ricky loves Ricky. Ricky grounds a third infield in. Guerrero holds. Henderson is out as Schmidt throws to first. One out infield still in for Dwayne Murphy. We're going suicide squeeze. Oh, oh, geez. What happened there? They intentionally walk Murphy before we can do the suicide squeeze. That's hilarious. And Guerrero was like, whoa, he put the brakes on, I guess. Here comes Tony Armis. Armis has knocked in nine runs. His last plate appearance, a three-run homer to right. In three games, he has three homers. He's 8 for 12, batting 667. 3 for 4 today. The pitch to T.A. 1-1 one, one count to Armis. Knowles deals. Armis fly ball flared. Oh, what a catch! What a catch by Gary Maddox robbing Armis of a hit, but the run scores. As Guerrero tags up, it's 11-7. Four-run lead now for the A's. Let's watch that over in Superstat Replay. Armas picks up his 10th ribby. Maddox laying out. No chance to get the speedy Guerrero tagging up from third. So two outs. Dwayne Murphy at first. Dave Reverend at the plate. Murphy's looking to steal second. They throw over. Murphy gets back. Murphy's still looking to steal second. Go, go baseball. Murphy is out by 42 years. Stumbling when he tried to steal. We go to the top of the eighth. 11-7. Oakland Athletics. Steve McCaddy on the mound. Lacey is ready. So it's going to be Smith, Rose, and Schmidt. Here in the top of the eighth, we're going to sit Lacey. He is a left-handed hurler. McCaddy, Delaney, Smith. Smith one for four with two ribbies. Smith will swing at the first McCaddy offering. Grounds at the third. Gross to his right. Throws to Revering. One down. That brings up Pete Rose. McCaddy quickly to Rose. 0 oh, 1 to Charlie Hustle from the left hander's batter's box. Rose. Base hit to left. Past the lunge of Guerrero. One out, one on. Michael Jack Schmidt. Steps to the plate. If Schmidt goes yard, they'll cut the lead to two. McCaddy takes a deep breath. Reverend holding on Rose. The pitch homeward bound to Schmidt. 1-0. Schmidt swings. Fly ball to center. Murphy to his left coming in a bit. Makes the catch two away. Rose retreats to first. Two outs. Rose will be off on contact. McCaddy to face the bull. Greg Lazinski who's two for three with a ribby. The pitch to the bull. 1-0 to Lazinski. Lazinski looking to grip and rip. Chops a slow roller to short. Side retired. Guerrero throws a strike to first. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Oakland 11, Philadelphia 7. You could say it's 7-11. Dickie Knowles has done yeoman's work. Out of the pen. Philly's pitching has been putrid in Game 3. Oakland has been slightly less putrid. Martin has cursed out every pitcher, including McCaffrey. So we go to the bottom of the eighth. It'll be Reverend, Newman, and Gross. Knowles to Reverend. It's a 2-2 count to the A's, left-hand batting first baseman. Grounder up the middle, backhanded by the new second baseman. We'll give you that in a second. Luis Aguayo, one down. Because Del Unser pinch hit for Trio doubled in a row. That brings up Jeff Newman. Full count to Newman. Pitch by Knowles. Ball four down and in. So Newman is at first, and we're going to lift him for a pinch runner. Mitchell Page will pinch run and stay in the DH. So 
So Mitchell Page to pinch run. Wayne Gross at the plate. Double play ball ends the inning. So let's get our uh, pseudo closer, the lefty Bob Lacey, up. So Lacey's up in the pen, and he's ready. Hit and run with Wayne Gross. One out, one on. They throw over. Mitchell Page gets back. We're seeing this. You know what? We're going to go straight steal now. They throw over. Page gets back. We're still going straight steal to second. They throw over. We're going to steal again. There goes Mitchell. Pa oh, he's out by 15 years. Come on. Boy, did he cut his lead down. There's two outs. Billy Martin going insane. 1 0. 2 2 to Gross. Flair to shallow left towards the line, making the catch Lonnie Smith. We go to the top of the ninth. The Oakland A's three outs away from a 3-0 lead in the 1980 What If World Series. McCaddy on the mound. Do we go to Lacey? I think we shall. Go lefty-lefty here. He's got excellent control. We're bringing in Lee, not Lee Lacey. Bob Lacey. Trying to get the... I don't think it's a safe situation because it's four runs, but here's the pitch to Shake Bake McBride. Full count to McBride. Oh, boy, if he walks him, Martin's going to go insane. Lacey's ready. The pitch. Fly ball, shallow center. Murphy coming in on the 3-2 count. McBride flies to center, one down. Gary Maddox up. We're going to go pitch around to Maddox. One, two, he's in the hole. Do I smell a strikeout? Nope, fly ball. Deep to right center, but Murphy tracks it down. Two away. A's fans on their feet. Oakland, one out away. Oakland is one out away. From a 3-0 lead in this What If World Series. Lacey will now face Luis Aguayo. Aguayo came in after Del Unser pinch hit. The pitch to Aguayo. 3-1 count. Aguayo trying to get on. Fly ball to Ricky Henderson. He takes it off the shoe tops. The A's win in a slugfest 11-7. Oakland takes a 3-0 lead. Billy Martin is joyous in the Oakland A's dugout. Comes out to greet all of his players on a tremendous effort. Billy Martin screaming to the fans, bring your brooms, bring your brooms for game four because these mother effers are going back to the city of brotherly love. Losers. Billy Martin revving up the Oakland Coliseum crowd. The only way Billy can do it. Great effort by the Oakland A's offense. Tony Armis has been outstanding. Armis, I would think Armis is the player of the game. And he is. Armis, another homer. Three homers in three World Series games. Knocked in four runs. With, was three for four. Two runs scored. Four ribbies and a homer. Let's go to the horrific, horrific pitching for both teams. Dick Ruthven. As our Nostradamus in our chat, Brian Hoxie, said, wouldn't go three, and he didn't. He went two and a third innings, eight hits, six runs, all earned, one walk, no Ks. Reed came in, two innings, three hits, three runs. Only two of them were earned. Walk three, no Ks. Dickie Knowles, three and two thirds innings, two hits, two runs, both earned, walk two, and he gave up the homer to Armis. Matt Keogh struggled but got the win. He went six and a third innings. Billy Martin was F-bombing his ass on the way to the clubhouse. Six hits, seven runs. Six of them were earned. Walked five, struck out three. Jones pitched a third of an inning. Gave up a hit and a walk. McCaddy got the hold. He went an inning and a third, gave up a hit. And that was it. Lacey went an inning. It was a clean ninth for Lacey. So the A's take a 3-0 lead. 
here. And we'll quickly go through the box scores and call it a stream. And then we'll go through the chat quickly. Lonnie Smith, one for five, two ribbies. Smith now hitting 250. Pete Rose finally got a hit. He's one for three with a run, scored, walked twice. He's batting 100. Mike Schmidt was one for three, scored three runs, walked twice. He's batting 143. You're not going to win the World Series with these two guys batting below 200. Greg Lazinski, two for four, a run, scored, and a ribby. He struck out once. He's batting 273. Shake Bake McBride and Gary Maddox both batting .091. That's awful. Uh, McBride, one for five with a strikeout. Maddox 0 for 4 with two ribbies and a walk. Manny Trio was 0 for 3, was lifted for the pinch hitter Del Unser, who doubled in a run. Trio batting 222. Aguayo made the last out of the game. He came in to play defense. He was 0 for 1. Boa, 1 for 3, a run scored and a walk. He's batting 200. Bob Boone still has not gotten a hit. He was 0 for 3 with a run scored. Philadelphia scored enough runs to win, but their pitching was god-awful. 35 at-bats, 7 runs, 8 hits, 6 ribbies, 6 walks, 3 Ks. For the Oakland Athletics, they put up 11, as their pitching was slightly better than the putrid pitching of the Philadelphia Phillies. Ricky Henderson was 0 for 3 with 2 runs scored. He did walk twice. He's batting 200. Dwayne Murphy batting 600 now. He was 3 for 4, 2 runs scored, a ribby and a walk. Tony Armas batting 667, 3 for 4. He's a player of the game. Two runs scored, four ribbies. He hit a homer. Dave Reverend was 2 for 5, a run scored and a ribby. He's batting 286. Jeff Newman was 0 for 4 with a run scored and a walk. He's batting 222. Mitchell Page came in to run, did not get in that bat. Page is batting 125. Wayne Gross knocked in two. He's 1 for 4 with a run scored. Gross, the former third baseman for the Metropolitans and a few other teams, batting 333. Jim Essie in the catcher batting 429. He was one for three with two ribbies and a walk. Dave McKay, the second baseman, had two hits. He was two for four with a ribby. He's batting 333. Mario Guerrero, the shortstop, was one for four, two runs scored. He's batting 333. Oakland with a tremendous victory, 11-7, to and a 3-0 lead in the World Series, now had 35 at-bats, 11 runs, 13 hits, 11 ribbies, 6 walks. They did not strike out once. Billy Martin is ecstatic, though he is still cursing his bullpen pitching and the starter, Matt Keough. So Oakland will go for the sweep in our next game. Win a couple more awards, and let's save. And let's finish today. Uh, Larry Christensen will go in game four. I think you gotta go. I think we're gonna go with Steve Carlton because it's a must win. Yeah, you got to go Steve Carlton there, even though the A's beat Carlton in game one. Behind Mike Norris's no-hitter, if you missed that. Richard D. Fortuna, how you doing? Just in time for the last out. Armis holding steady as the MVP frontrunner. Absolutely. Midlife crisis complaining that the Phillies distracted by the plumbing uh, backing up through the drains in the dugout. Mark Jones says the 83 win A's are a hit. They're a huge hit. They had very good pitching in 80. I just got the APA 1980 set. Very excited about that. Checking out the Mike Norris card. We'll have some of that on the channel at some point. All right, so let's go to Philadelphia. And there's no way down 3-0 they're going to... They're, they would pitch Carlton. So let's go to uh, pitching. And... Uh, we're gonna, they're going to pitch Carlton. He's slightly tired, but they're going with Carlton. So I will adjust that. Let's make sure. I'm going to do it now. Let's go back. So Steve Carlton will pitch on short rest.
And they'll go to the youngster, Marty Bystrom. So we've adjusted their pitching rotation. Um, Oakland, we could go Mike Norris. But we have a 3-0 lead. And why pitch Norris on a short rest? We don't have to. I would like to get the sweep, but we don't have to. Um, let's see. Kingman. 3-8-3. Three, three. That's not horrific. Uh, holy cow, he was 8-20. and 20. Oh, my Lord. His ERA is not bad. 8 and 20. Ouch. Who else do we have who could pitch? And the caddy's tired, though. Well, he's still. I mean, that'd be something to pitch him after he pitched. Uh, Three eight six, five six five, Kingman four six five, three eight three. I don't know. Uh, well, I guess we will stick with Kingman because then we have Lankford and Norris. Even if we don't sweep. Did they mess up on his thing there? He doesn't have 73 complete. Where do you see 73 complete games? Let's go back. Did they make a faux pas? No game is perfect. Let's see what his real stats were. Started 30 games. I don't they don't give complete games here. We'd have to go to baseball reference. He, he pitched 211 innings. Wow. I mean, 383 is not bad. Uh, his whip was 138. Again, not horrific. He struck out 116. No run support. Well, they're hitting the ball. Brian Kingman. All right, so that's that. No, no, no. No, no, no. Cancel, cancel, cancel. So it's going to be Carlton versus Kingman. Let's save the game. That's our next stream. As the A's look to sweep, Carlton going on short rest, but there's no tomorrow. Let's go to playoff coverage. And again, Oakland has the 3-0 lead. Game 1, they won 5-0. Norris with a no-hitter. That was awesome. Game 2, they won 5-2. And as we witnessed, they win a slugfest 11 to 7 in game three. All right. Yeah, the A's the A's had 94 complete games. I thought you meant I thought you meant uh I thought you were joking when I saw 73 complete games. I thought you meant Kingman had 73 complete games. I thought you were making a joke. No, Billy Martin used his uh, starters to the very end because the bullpen was putrid. So I'd like to thank Midlife Crisis, as always, Richard D. Fortuna, Mark Jones, Chris McLaughlin. He says, are all the old stadiums available for the game? Yes. You just go to the workshop and download them, and they'll load up with every season. You have to go to the workshop. I bought it through Steam, so you have to go to the workshop, Chris McLaughlin. Look up Michael Silva's. Um, it's easy. They're the three most popular. Just click on most popular in the workshop. It's going to be the stadiums, uh, the player face generators, historical player face generators, and um, the uniforms. And download all three. If you have a current game going, they won't upload automatically. If you start a new season, they will. Thank you to RJL Network, our good friend Robert. Subscribe to his wonderful channel, Legend Sports Universe. Thank you. Subscribe to his channel. Brian Hoxie, we're going to call him Nostradamus. He said Ruthven wouldn't get out of the third. He didn't. 
Jeff Hunter, thank you. Uncle Dave Gardner, thank you. Subscribe to his wonderful channel. Finner27 just picked up Appa Baseball. Looking forward to hear about his fun with that. Ken Castro, disappointed the Phillies are down 3-0. Hope all is well with Ken. SGJ Jamie, thank you. Sports Time Machine, thank you. Check out his wonderful channel and subscribe. Christopher Slovak's on vacation, but still subscribe to his channel as he is in Bangkok, Thailand. I believe he went to a Thai kickboxing match. The Cubs, the Bears, who's been with us from the start, thank you very much to the Great White Shark. Bernard Strom, Sports Replays, check out and subscribe to his wonderful channel. And David Zelensky. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy Easter to those who celebrate it. My lovely wife, Nurse Teresa, and I went to a lovely Saturday Mass. Uh, it was a bit longer than normal because it's Easter weekend, but it was beautiful, as always. Uh, Father Wayne was awesome at St. Michael's. Um, so that was enjoyable, and I get to come and spend some time with uh, you enjoyable folks, and I greatly appreciate that. If you enjoyed the stream, hit that like button. If you've not subscribed and you wish to do so, that would be awesome. If you do subscribe, hit the bell for notification when we go live. Become a member of the FOC. How do you do that? It's very simple. You subscribe to my channel and subscribe to fellow uh, community members' channels, such as Dave Gardner, RJL Network, Legend Sports Universe, <clears throat> and many, many others, such as Sports Time Machine, many others. Come back where everybody knows your name. Share, like, sub me, sub them. Have fun. Stay safe. Be smart. Once again, happy Easter to those who celebrate it. God bless. I love you all. We will see.